Well, uh, what has happened in the country over the last few days is uh, totally unacceptable, it's unforgivable. Uh, it is intolerable in a democracy because from what I have seen, from what I have had, the activities, in fact, are offenses, crimes against humanity. That's what we call genocide. Um, I have a first hand knowledge and information. I've spoken to the I spoke to the father out in Everett following the torching of the church and uh, he told me about the mother of a three year old kids who managed to jump out of the window after the fire was set. And then her uh, three year old daughter was snatched and thrown back into the fire. Yes, that is an offense against humanity. The child was innocent. Yes. And the only offense that you could commit was having been born to a particular ethnicity, a particular tribe. Yes. A particular part of the country. Yes. That is an offense against humanity. Yesterday I had the amazing situation where 15,000 people had been Cases, kipulus, wakambas have been forced into Kapsabet police station. They have no water, they have no food. And the raiders they have already surrounded the police station by the time I was told early in the morning. And they were already beginning war dance, armed with weapons, balls and arrows. Sadly, they had already gone to the water hole <laughs> using power source and they had cut trees to destroy the water hole so even the police station could To the best of your knowledge, uh, are these isolated incidents or this seems to be systematic, planned, uh, premeditated attacks on these particular communities? I have no doubt in my mind that it was planned. I have uh, enormous experience in dispute resolution in the last 35 years now as a lawyer. And I can always tell where something is uh, in house or is uh, out of anger, perhaps provocation, or out of planning. This was clear planning because in the case of Barton University that I was describing to you, the, the people, the attackers, had even come with a padlock. Padlock, and they managed to lock the main gate of the university so that those who were inside the faculty and students couldn't go out. And it is those who were, were, who were lucky enough to have ran out of the campus who are now come to the, the police station. And uh, again, the bridge, bridges surrounding Kapsabet, Kapsabet police station and the history. Yes. And then the power source had also been used to cut trees into the road to block it. Ultimately, when, because I ended up speaking to the chief, uh, the commander in chief, uh, not the commander in chief, CGS, chief, chief of general staff, General Kianga, and his deputy as well. Two hours last night here, with the deputy General Karan. It was quite clear that to me that it was organized. In the end, when we managed to get convince the army to go and move and uh, help escort these people uh, late last night and early this morning, it took three hours to travel 35 kilometers from Kapsabet to Everett because the road had been blocked. Yeah. Again, the reason that I say that it was planned, and I hope it's my expectation that in due course a commission is going to be appointed to isolate those people who have committed these offenses against humanity and get them prosecuted in the national level. Yeah. Uh, right now, as I speak to you, there are bodies in, uh, which people have been killed in farms in the states. Their loved ones do not know how to reach them and they can't reach them. There are roadblocks that have been set up, people asking for tours of motor vehicles moving, and hence the bus or buses carrying these people from Kapsabet police station to other it took three hours to move 35 kilometers. And that's why I'm saying this was pre planned. It doesn't smell of people who are doing this because they were either provoked or otherwise. I believe strongly as a lawyer again that uh, 
the events of the last few days have absolutely nothing to do with the electoral commission or honorable of you to and to make any decision one or another. Uh, if you take the politicians there, you will be amazed to find that a lot of them have been my clients. Uh, one of them, who for this for these purposes will remain nameless, uh, has been our client for the last four years with an election petition filed against him by a loser in the 2002 election. And the petition only ended barely four months ago. So it's not like they are strangers to the legal process of this country yes. in the election dispute resolution. Uh, some of them I have worked with during previous election petition. 